anybody to be killed in any circumstance other than the natural cause of death. Like I've said earlier, they have been coming to the streets of Abuja almost on a weekly basis. The police have liberty to control them. To me, the method to deploy is not the best one. If you want to use force, you should use force on people that are armed, not on armless people. According to all the reports, these young boys were moving barehanded and later they started taking stones. If that is true, they are barehanded and they later started taking stones, the police should use other certain ways to contain and curtail them, not necessarily like bullets. Using blood bullets is using excessive power on defenseless citizens. I'm not a Shiite. I don't support them. I don't appreciate they do. But as human beings, and as Muslims they claim to be, I don't want any blood to be shed, either their own blood or blood of others. I equally don't support them for always keeping in troops every day demanding for the release of their leader. Demand for the release of their leader is genuine, but they can do it even in their homes. There are many like you. Most of them are educated. They, uh, they have access to all this uh, modern technology, YouTube, Facebook, and everything. They can reach to everyone through those means. Not necessarily they have to protest. This protest is just creation and uh, creating unnecessary tension and fear in the society, and by that, passes by, become apprehensive and start to develop in fear. And the other that will start to pull in the attention of police that something is going to happen if you don't stop these people. And why is it that all of them are coming? They will attempt, they have to come and come to National Assembly by force. If you come to the Girl National Assembly, it's allowed to stay there. Our leaders used to go and meet protesters to address them on their grievance. But when you want to use force, it means you have sinister move. Ditto, when you come, you say you are going to the villa. Nowhere in the world, the protesters will march towards the seat of power and the school is what's them to go to reach that level. It's never done anywhere in the world. There are civil rules of protest. They should follow civil rules of protest. Okay. Sir, sir, what is your view on the them using stone, uh, using uh, petrol, uh, Light, uh, lighting uh, vehicles like what they carried out at the entrance of National Assembly, attacking passerby that are just, they are not part of what they are doing. What's your view on that? No, not just barbaric. Like I said, if you come to protest, you don't have to go into arson. You don't have to go into throwing anything. Your one is to make your presence known, in large number, appoint somebody who will speak on your behalf, and those that you want to, to come and address you will come personally orders and send education to you. If you have any written request, you hand it over to them. If you don't have, you give, make oral, uh, oral submission. And wait, give some time. Most of the demands, are, most of the protests are given time frame. Okay, we are demanding this in one month's time, in two weeks' time, in one week time. But you don't say, I'm coming here and I must get what I want before I, 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 I move or before I leave. If you do that, you are going confrontational. And by that, the authorities have a right to use whatever means to claim from there. Because you are obstructing peaceful passage and movement of uh, lawful and law abiding citizens. What would be your advice to them now? And my advice to them is to go back, read Islam very well, understand the essence of propagation of Islam in a peaceful way, the way it was done. Then also, they should emulate. The way all the previous and current Islamic scholars are teaching their followers that you should be peaceful and you should be loyal and you should always obey the constitutional authority.